On today's episode of Mummy's Boy, we are joined by Mandy Grace Jepson. And we're having a lovely <laughs> time. We discuss all the things about the birds, the bees, and the blood. And I'm bringing some strength and roariness. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. It's Mummy's Boy. Hello and welcome to Mummy's Boy with me, Arthur Hill, and my adorable and delightful mother, oh, Lisa. Delightful. Oh, oh hi. Uh, hello. Hello. Deep down, <laughs> I've always been a Mummy's Boy at heart, and in this weekly podcast, I get to spend some quality time with mum mm. and receive some much needed advice that only a mother can give. Yes. But sometimes my mum needs help too. TikTok, viral videos, celebrities, these are all things which my mum just can't get her head around. Very good, Arthur. Thank you. So I'm here to help her before this modern world... Damn! Damn it! So I'm here to help her before this modern world leaves her behind. He almost did that without looking. That was really good. Not only will I help her unravel the mysteries of youth <laughs> and bring her into the digital age, but I'll also be making Lisa's motherly wisdom available to all of you as well. Oh, Arthur. So if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you are desperate for me to read, slide into our DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or send us a message or even one of those voice notes to WhatsApp on oh, <laughs> to WhatsApp on 07822-013837. And no matter what the issue, I will ask her in a feature I like to call Mum, can we talk? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we can. We can. Oh. Um, hello. Hi. You look nice today. Do I? You do. I wasn't sure. Any, it's a bit old lady, Again, isn't it? informed by the colour. Oh, that you well, did? yes, it is a, it is a, mm. a strong colour, so I think so. Is that a, a sort of what is it, rouge? Oh, okay, you with your rouge. <laughs> I floral, suppose it is rouge. rouge. It's a floral rouge. Oh, have yes. we? Just, oh no, we've talked. Have we spoken about the giraffe? Your giraffe shirt was that? Did we speak oh, about no, it on the bonus did. episode? No, we d no, we didn't. Oh, we say that. Or you can do it well, now. Do it. Well, yeah, do it now. Story. I don't know what. It's your shirt. Well, oh, I okay. I was wearing a shirt. I have a shirt. I have a bright orange shirt. Do I not? Um, with um a print on it of an animal. And when we were in Cornwall, we went to Tesco's together, did we not? Have you, you heard of it? You, me and Harvey, his mate. And when we got to the checkout, I was flirted with. She was flirted with for many times on holiday as well. <laughs> By the ancient man behind the till. He was literally, uh, not. he's your age. Well, that's just rude. Well, I thought he was ancient. but And he said, what did he say? He said, are you fe feeling fierce today? <laughs> The and it's I was crazy. like, um, uh, you look it. no, why? And he says, well, you look it with that shirt with the tigers on it. And I was like, oh, okay. And But I had to stop myself from saying, I thought they were giraffes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was wearing a shirt with giraffes on. But and I not, tell you, tigers. when we laughed, the whole of Tesco The whole of Tesco's joined in. I was feeling the fierce. Giraffes! <laughs> But it was quite funny, wasn't it? It was quite funny. And then, I mean, there was And then another... he said, well, you've got to look out, Wade Bridge, here she comes or something. I was like, okay, no, get me out of Tesco's. I know. Yeah, it was quite weird. And then there was a man at the bar that flirted with you. Was there? Who's, where we said, oh, what, the one who was so pissed he couldn't stand well, yeah. up. But yeah. But what did he say? We said we were going to go somewhere. Oh, yeah. And he, and he said, like, I'll, I'll only come go if she's going. coming. I put it at my mum. And ah! my dad stood by. And he was about 70 or 80. And then the neighbour, the neighbour had a nice long chat with you. Oh, he was nice. Mm. I don't think that was flirtatious. Look, I know men. Oh, well, that's a very good point. <laughs> so do I. But no. 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 Anyway. No. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. La, I didn't la, get la. flirted with at all. That holiday. Oh, you did. Lots no, of girls no, giggling no, behind no. rocks and things. <laughs> oh, look, it's <laughs> um, We have a guest today. For the <gasps> first time in a while, actually. Yes, indeed. And Who what a guest it? it is. Who is it? Who is oh, it? Oh, mum, you're going to love her. Am I? You're going to love her, I think. Yeah. Am I? Almost as much as I love her. Oh, you know her. I do know her. Oh, okay. Excellent. Um, today's guest is the funniest and most beautiful girl <laughs> on TikTok. I'm getting all giggly. You are getting, getting all, giggly. all giggly. What's the matter with you? Uh, <laughs> Pull yourself on together. On TikTok. Oh, really? Sorry, yeah. Funny um, and beautiful. Funny and be I know. Wow. She does think. <laughs> cool. <laughs> she does things with her tongue that have never been seen before. Oh, dear Trust me. me. Does she? Um, give it up for the lovely Maddie Jepson. Maddie Jepson. Hey, 
Hey, strut your stuff, Maddie Jepson. <laughs> Hi. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. We're so excited to have oh, you. It's very nice Thanks to have you here. Thanks lovely introduction. That's okay. Was it, what was wrong? Was that it scene? was great. Oh, so I got so nervous. Is, is got that nervous. your thing? Your tongue? No. Yeah. Oh. Well, you're so much more than that as well. Oh. Well, I would hope so. Yeah. Yeah. I am, but I am known for my tongue. <laughs> Are you? Hello. <laughs> Sorry? Hello. Oh, look at it. It's like a little lizard. Do you want to give it a go? What, what, touch what you it? just Hello. did? You just give it, try it. Hello. Hello. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, no. what was you did something with your oh, hand. I'm oh. just like, just oh, like a little that. point. Hello. Yes. <laughs> was that good? That, that was really good. good. For the first track, see, I can't do it. I can't. Why can't you? Hello. No, yours comes yeah, you're out. Not really You've got to put yeah. it, out it out on the Hello. Hair. Oh, do it again. Hello. <laughs> Hello. When do you do it? That the, on the on the L. On the L. Sweet pea. Hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I see. I don't no. know. I think I think my tongue oh, feels too wide. Does it? Well, oh. yes. Yours is very sort of like yours is like pointy. narrow, and thin, and pointy. pointy. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's kind of so, cool. So, <laughs> oh dear God, how did this ha How did this start? How did this oh. become a thing? It's just always been a thing. Has it? Since birth. <clears throat> Maybe. He came, he came out. She came out going, <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> No, I don't really know. I just, I always did it with um, my friends. Like, it was just like, it was, it was, it was to be dramatic. So if I'm trying to like over dra dramatize something like, can't believe he did that. <laughs> like it just, <laughs> it would just come out. I don't and know then... how, I don't know what the science is for it works so well. Like I think only you, only you would, it would be funny with only you, I think. I don't know, and I don't know why so, that is, but it's great. And <laughs> it should be, it should be really annoying, but it's I not. Know. It, but for some reason it, well, we do. Uh, debatable. Well, I'm sure, yeah. I find it quite annoying these days. Do you? <laughs> but, but oh. I also, but I also love it. Yeah, I love it. Oh, there it is again. Mm. Yeah, is it only on words with L in? L T H. Yes, I'm trying to think what T -H. else. T H. Yeah, like yeah. that. Oh, the, of course. See, I, the, see that. I wouldn't even the, think about that. The lovely boy walked down the street. Something like that. Wow, you should teach but like so a Maddie Jackson English class. Do you, do, do you just class. sit at home making videos of you talking with your tongue sticking Sometimes. out? Sometimes. It has it has adapted to be a little bit more. Than yeah, that these yeah, she's days. very talented, Mandy. Okay, oh. I want to know what at, please. Well, fun, fun. Oh fact. God, actually, oh that sounded. God. I yeah. Didn't, yeah, no. you. What are you good at? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but but no, because you are obviously very beautiful and talented and oh. funny. Thank you. Keep um, going. But there must be more to it than sticking your tongue out. Yeah, yeah. But that's the funny thing about so, about TikTok is you become yes. a niche. Mm. But yes. no, uh, it has adapted to a bit more than that. I hope these days. Yeah. Have we got any examples or do, are we you going to do examples? Well, I went, so actually from fact, I went to drama yeah, school I was with Charlotte. Say, she knows Charlotte. We were in the same year at drama school, but I was on the, on the musical theatre course. Oh my God. Yes. You, uh, okay. So I know exactly who she is. Oh. Hey! <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> What's that thing? <laughs> <laughs> what's that what's that i want to learn how to do dance. it oh is it i just liked that you that's like knew the feeling me. yourself you were dance. in the little mermaid i was bloody hell wow and who was i who did i play ariel wow the yes. part yes yes that was me oh my god I know. oh my god yes oh did you come and watch that yes wow oh i did Weren't you an agent at the time? And you didn't, I was. You didn't, you didn't. I know what. You didn't. Yeah. No, I didn't. <laughs> well, you know, what can you do? I was like, that girl's got a funny tongue. <laughs> She'll never get anywhere. No, I just wouldn't have. I, no, because I knew that you'd be snapped up by a big agency, yeah. not my little um, one. Wow. So you're, you're are, you still, you're, are you still, you know, jazz handsing? Yeah, in my, in, in my quiet time. In I'm your trying, quiet time. I'm, I'm, I'm working my way back into it, but. Okay. It's like I kind of left the industry because TikTok started just taking over and I thought it. I'm ready to take a break yeah. from it anyway. So I just started doing social media stuff and then now I'm like, I would like to go back into it again. So yeah. we're making that 
journey. You're making again. that journey. Yeah. That journey. journey. Love that yeah. Back to the West End. Well. Back to Broadway. Back to anywhere. To Broadway. Broadway. Oh, dear Lord. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I want you to do something. Well, oh my God! What? The well, hell? I want to. I want to Do know. No, I woman. want to know what she does. I want to know what could have taken her from wanting because you were, you are very talented. Because I know now because I've seen you. Thanks. Um, that would have taken you away from doing that, mm. which could be seen as a slight. Well, no, actually, well, it's not a safer career, is it? No. In any way, shape, or form. No. Um, but into the madness that is TikTok, etc. Mm. Money. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> I see. No, at the time I was excruciatingly poor and I was well, like, yes, okay. Well, yes, of course. Well, this can make me a bit more money than performing right now. So maybe I'll just go with this. Mm. Genuinely. But yeah. then it's become much more fulfilling than that. And it's actually become yeah. like a stepping block. Yeah. You know, and yeah. it's, um. so I don't know. And also I feel like I would, it was a weird time because it was COVID. It was COVID, wasn't it? It was just really tough. I just thought, like, I just don't think it's my time for this time right now. Coming out of drama yeah, school, it was awful. That crazy. Oh, God, my acting career was shot. Oh, you never had one, do you? Yeah, I was going to be Jean Valjean. Oh, don't be the youngest Jean Valjean <laughs> He's in history. Can you give us a little bit? Yeah, Come I on definitely then. know which song he sings. Ah, oh, you see, that's not a good start, is it? Oh, no. He, no he's actually, shh, shh, shh. Oh. I hope this is right. It's that's been a while right, since I've had the script. Mm. Great script, though. Oh, great. God on high. No. No. No? It's not that like long, you idiot. Oh, sorry, I was doing the end bit. Wait. Oh, no, sorry. no, that's bringing... <clears throat> Oh, for heaven's sake. I went for the Colm the Wilkinson vibe there. Oh, was that the Colm yeah, Wilkinson yeah, yeah. vibe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little I bit lower it, than it mm, should have been. Thank you. Really? You know. Mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's very giggly around you, isn't he? Well, you know, who can blame she him? She has that effect on people. Yeah, she does. She does. Oh, what's that tattoo underneath your tat arm? Your tat oh, here. Ooh. What do you think that is? Hang on, you put it in oh, Sorry. Oh, hang on. <laughs> um, it's a lion. Yes. Excellent. What do you think that could be related to? The Lion King. You always wanted to be in it. <laughs> no. Um, not sure I'm castable for that show, baby. No, you're not really. Um, <laughs> your, your strength and roariness. Raw yes. And think, ooh, what could strength and roariness be grouped into, like, a specific thing? Is a characteristic of a specific thing. A characteristic. A specific. Oh, you like kittens? I do. That's not quite that what I was going it. for. Um, Strength and royness. Strength Women. And... You know this. No, but yes. No, but yes. You know this. I know. I'm just waiting for Mama. Obviously, oh, don't I know. do that. He does not. No, I definitely do. You bloody don't. You're just I, go, you're just agree. making me feel you like do an know. Idiot. I, no, yeah, yeah, I do know. Oh, I don't know, Maddie. <laughs> I'm a Leo. Leo. Oh, god, I see. Come on. Oh god, that wouldn't have even occurred to me. Um, I don't even know what I am. What when's am your I? birthday? Oh yes, I am Sagittarius. Can you remember what Love I am? Lovely, lovely. Yeah. By a sign. Yes. Like me. Oh, does that mean we get on? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Leo's and Sagittarius are actually perfect pair. Are wow. they? Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go then. I know. My excellent. older sister's Sagittarius. Lovely. We have a great relationship. Do you? Yes. <laughs> How many of you are there? Three. And the other one's younger? Yeah. You could tell I was a middle child, could you? No, it's just that you said that she was older, so that the other one, unless she was the same age as you, she had to be younger. Oh. Great math. Unless she were twins. Which you're not. Oh. Is that right? Yeah, There's yeah. not two of her. She does a lot of stuff with her she, hands, yeah. doesn't she? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the perfect it. mirror. Yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm confused I'm, now. Are you? Yes. Can you? So you remember my star sign? Yes. <laughs> oh, 
gosh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'd know it. Mm. I don't even think I know it. Taurus. Mm. It's Taurus. Oh, is it? It is Taurus. That's a bull, isn't it? Oh, no. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Is it a bull? <laughs> I don't know. I have mm. no idea. Taurus? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is. We've had it's all bullshit to me. Hey. Hey. Well, it is kind of all bullshit, I think. Well, that's that's I love it. Yeah. Do you? Mm. Do you read I your heard, star signs? I don't know if this that. is true, but I heard Sorry. it was. I heard it was like made up by newspapers in like the nineteen thirties to sell. Oh, really? To, to sell. sell more. Mm. So that Jack, can you look? Can you look that up, please, Jack? Oh yeah, producer Jack. Producer Jack, get those fingers can moving. You pull that up for me, please. But then I actually <laughs> read like back in the day when they didn't have like religion as as we know it now mm. that the stars, the stars the moon and the sun were like the, the things they worshipped because it was they were so afraid yes. of them because they didn't know what it was so actually there's probably a bit more history to it than newspapers there's definitely more history <laughs> there's definitely more history to it than the 1930s no. but i think that's maybe the narrative men have put onto women oh, about it God. oh here we go oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can just copy her forever. Oh. I, I, th I think you could. Do you think I could? Jack, is it true? <clears throat> uh, they were already existed Fuck. before then, but newspapers made them popular. But they yes. made yes. them No, exactly. Yeah. And I think they did take advantage of it and it, it became like untrue. Like they weren't factual because they would just yeah. be like, horoscopes became like. You are. You're going, You're going through the man of right your now. dreams. Oh yeah, always that. I always, I did read them when I was sort of in my teens. I used to read them and mm. avidly. And think, you did <gasps> read the man of your dreams. Well, I did eventually. It took oh. a long time. How old were you when you met? Thirty, thirty-one. Amazing age. Yes. Perfect age. She How do you know? Thirty-five. <laughs> because I just think that's a great age to meet <laughs> the love of your life. Do you? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh. I think a bit younger. Like, yeah. um, 25. He's all goo goo gaga, isn't he? Mm. Over you. What's the matter with you, Arthur? Sorry. It's mummy's boy. So, I'm interested to know how do you two actually know each other, please? Can I actually kick this off? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, go for it. <laughs> I knew Arthur from just like online. Online. And then. Online. <laughs> Because he's like a rock star. No. Is he? His team reached out to my team oh, and said, I remember this. Oh, I Arthur really this. wants to film with you. He really <laughs> wants to do a video with you. And I was oh, like, really? okay. <laughs> Went on his Instagram and TikTok, didn't even follow me. <gasps> and so I said, um, I think not, baby. Mm, yeah. And Ooh. then... So I thought that was kind of a weird that, first. I, yeah, I actually forgot about that completely. Oh, he's all embarrassed. You know what now. it is? It's because my manager Miriam, at the time, was a mm. massive fan, and she was <laughs> like, "I just want you to, I, oh. I want you to work with her." So that's. Oh. But obviously, obviously, I was a fan oh. as well. I used to be a bit stricter you with my followers. You weren't, and that's followers. okay. My, I know I knew of you. I knew like I knew of you. You weren't a fan. No, but you know. Would you like to dig a bigger hole for yourself no, and just yeah, get like, in it now? It's okay because we made friends in the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So I don't know when we actually first met though. Halloween. Oh, she remembers. What Halloween? Which? Who's? Um, where? Abby's <laughs> party. No, the first time. Yes. I'm so sure. Well, I don't remember meeting you before. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe it wasn't memorable. No, oh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was. <laughs> what um, was it? It oh, was. Oh, oh, oh. It was. Um, what? The the Is gay it? bar. Oh, the gay bar um, the, the, in Soho. Freedom. Freedom. My hometown. Yeah, yeah. We yes. we were in Freedom for some, it was like. No, that was after no, the Halloween. No, oh, was, for heaven's sake, that, you was two. Was that after the Halloween party? We went to Freedom <laughs> after, after okay. Halloween. <laughs> it was Halloween, you're right. It was. You are right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. Oh, I'm glad we got that sorted out. Yeah. Yeah, so right, that's, and we were just so that's how you right, away. okay, right, yeah. yes, good. No naughty shenanigans though that I need to know about. <laughs> no, no. no. I mean we dated for what six months, maybe. Did you? But you <laughs> but never bought no, her home for no, dinner no, or anything. No, that's no, 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 yeah, no. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, that's okay. Can I please see something yeah, let's now? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm intrigued. <laughs> about well, I'm really intrigued. Have you picked? Uh, well, Jack has picked them. 
And I think oh, I no. think by the titles, I think he's picked well. Oh, producer Jack always. Oh yeah, well. I like this one. Hey guys, I wrote I wrote basically a little song, song slash rap about becoming on my period. Um, <laughs> this is for all my uterus owning people out there. Here we go. Fuck your fucking period, you stupid fucking bitch. All you fucking do is ruin my life. You should fuck off. I don't care what you say about me. Because when you come over there, I'm going to slap you and stab you. Yeah, that's what I feel. When you come in my house and doing all you do is going to come through and stay in my pants. What the heck? Why are you going to stay in my pants for? I just bought them last week. I'm pissed off. Yeah, what am I going to do? Wash when they wash? No, because they're not even going to come out. You just fuck off my life. I can't sleep, can't sleep, can't eat, can't do, can't dream, can't do what I want in life. You are what? coming over here and stopping my head from reaching my dreams. You stupid fucking bitch <laughs> let me know what you guys think about that in the comments <laughs> if you were late let me know wow absolutely ridiculous well, i want to know how that worked so did you practice that no no, no. The, it was just dome. it was as as i dome. hope that, that came just, from my soul yeah i thought perhaps it did i, was on I my wanted period. to check that you hadn't sort of perfected it to sound so ridiculous no see like with my art like yeah. It was a freestyle rap. Yeah. Absolutely. So it was in the moment what yes. I felt coming from my soul. And, you know, I was can't eat, can't sleep, can't dream. No. That's really powerful. That, that, that three lines specifically. Yeah. Yes. And it, you know, it resonated with a lot of people. Wait till you get to your menopause. You'll be able to do another one then. Well, it'll be fabulous. Can't wait for it. Mm. Yeah. God. God. You women, eh? Sake. Yeah. Oh. In a good way, I mean, <laughs> power to you. <laughs> yeah. Orcs. Orcs. Have we got another one? I want another one. Yeah, we've, yeah. Got, we've got a whole shebang of them. But she's got bloody loads. Do you have to do it like every day? Oh. Do you have to come up with a new one every day? <clears throat> no, it's just what I feel in the just moment. in the moment. In that day. Mm. When your art takes over. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Here we go. Right. Here's another one. Hey, guys, this is just a little song about Sundays and... If you're feeling down about it, listen to this song. It will so certainly uplift you. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday is a really good day. It's gonna be a really good day. You are gonna smile and then you're gonna go your way. Don't you flip it, speak to me like that, you stupid little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> As I was saying, you don't get to speak to me, la la And I don't get that it. it's Monday tomorrow Because it's all in my head I'm gonna think really, really positive about my day tomorrow Today, I'm gonna enjoy my day And see what <laughs> is a problem Yeah, yeah, yeah what? Wow So let me know what you guys talk about that song <laughs> You're completely insane uh <laughs> No, I think that's a good thing. Thank you. All the best artists are. I think that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a weird experience watching my yeah. TikToks with a, in real life with people. Mm. Is it? Yeah. How do, how do you feel? Strange. <laughs> it feels quite exposing. Mm. Are you not proud of, of your, I'm of your very art? Proud. So proud of my art. So proud of my art. Has anyone ever put music over them? Like, as in, like, they've just, like... No. Which would, I was just thinking that would but be really cool. they're already so musical. No, but as in, like, just elevate them to a new level. I know. And then just I... Orchestrate I, them. Yeah, and I, I always think, like, why has no one, like, put music to it and then it's been, like, released as, like, yeah. the Christmas single? Yeah, for charity. Actually, yeah. The yes. one about the period could be a really good one yeah, for Christmas. for Christmas. Yes. Let's get it. Make it yeah. happen. Yeah, you I can do talk a nice to some little, people. You know, yeah. Talk to little guitar over the top. Yeah. Or take what could what we could freestyle one now maybe. Yeah. Oh dear. Or like, I am in, on my period right now actually. Oh good. So if we could be the instruments maybe, and then Maddie comes in over us. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for this, Arthur. Do you want to kick it off, or should I? What what I'll in, kick what it in, off. What, what kind of do you like, what do drums do you like? Mm. Drums? Drums? Okay, Oops, should I cuts? be drums? Oh, all right, you be drums. Thanks. Okay. Maybe well, what you am I going to bloody be? I think Strings. you should be my like hype you, man. Yeah, you can be more melodic. So you can do some ad libs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Like, yeah. Yeah, because it yeah. should be, I don't want to, you know, I don't, I, I'm not in no place to talk about, you know, periods. Yeah, thank my, you. That step. is very true. So no, respectful. I, I don't want to step on your mm -hmm. toes or your uterus or anything like that. Maybe no. you could come in with uh, like a verse about menopause. Yeah, okay. Yeah, good. Yeah, thanks. 
I'm really, okay. really happy <clears throat> about this. <laughs> High tempo, low tempo. <laughs> Oh, I think like, kind of a, like, you know. Oh, okay, like mm, a... Mm, mm, like, mm, 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 yes. Mm, 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 oh. Mm, period mm, talk. Oh. Mm, Here we go. Mm, 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 Come on, my period mm, and it's stupid mm, fucking bitch. Mm, Ruining my life. Why are you doing that, yeah? Oh my God, all I want to do is live my life. You stupid fucking bitch, making me hurt myself. Yes, just wait until you get to my age, you bitch. It just gets so much worse when you're 18. Listen, my girl, you don't know anything about uterus. Oh my God. Can't you feel sorry for me? You went through it too. All I've got to do is do a big poo. Yeah, because... <laughs> Whoa. Wow! <laughs> Dear wow. God, <clears throat> my God, that felt special. Thank God we got that yeah, record. Yeah, we're really, we're really together now, aren't we? Fuck. I know. Christmas single. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Christmas. I think Christmas single. God. Someone yeah. better remix that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I well, don't need to. I think it's already perfect. Just perfect. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stayed on beat. Wow. That was Quite amazing. emotional after that. <laughs> Oh. That was quite therapeutic. Oh, that's so hot. God, it's hot in here, isn't it? It it's is. the fucking menopause. <laughs> Christ alive oh. on a bike. You are glowing today. Well, I'm glowing even more now after all that nonsense. <laughs> Mess. Marvelous. I think because it got Mess. it all out of you. Like, yeah, all yeah, the pent it did. Up, all that pent yeah. up hot flushy menopause. thing. Mm, the hot flushes. Oh. My mum's told me about those. Has she? Oh. Good. My mum never told me anything about anything. So well, I, I yeah. didn't know, you know, that's all really changed. Yeah, the next it has generation. actually. Definitely. Do you talk to Charlotte about it? Yeah. The birds and the bees. Yeah, the birds and, and the, the bees. Yeah, and the blood. The birds, the bees and the blood. Yeah. Lovely. That's the Game of Thrones spit off. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Well, I'll be watching you on the way home we on got the train. Inspired. Good. It, it there's there's is a lot. Sometimes it's singing. Sometimes it's rap. Sometimes it's about my kittens. Sometimes it's oh, about yes, your kittens. <sighs> How many kittens? Anything. Two. Oh, I know. Ooh. they're so cute. Are they? Yeah. Oh, I should have got my phone up here to show a picture. You can show me after. Do you want to know their names? Oh, yes. Suki Lulu. Oh, obviously. <laughs> Suki Lulu. I can't do it. Yeah, Lulu. Lu. Suki Lulu. That's one of them. And then Mooney Woo Woo. <laughs> Mooney woo woo, for heaven's sake, for heaven's sake. And do you, when you go out to call them in the garden, do you do that? Yeah. Suki Lulu, yeah. Mooney woo woo, yeah. and they come. Yeah, Mooney knows his name more than Suki. She's a bit like she's not all with it. <laughs> How is she? She was, oh, she's not like quite that. with it, isn't she? No, she's she's not as clever as as Mooney. But so I say like Mooney woo woo, and he comes running. Yeah. If I say Suki Lulu, she kind of looks because it's it's more the it's noise. noise. Oh, like, okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's kind of slay that. <laughs> Thanks. Like, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> but I Toss can't wait. Air, Arthur. It's mummy's boy. Right, mum. Yeah. It's time for the nation's favourite fucking game: <laughs> <laughs> Two Lies and a Truth. Yes. And this week they're all about our guest, Maddie Grace Jepson. Yes, indeedy. So, which of the following <gasps> statements about Maddie is true? Okay. Okay. A, Maddie once stabbed herself in the cheek when she was five years old. Oh. Okay, it's not giving much away. <laughs> B, Maddie once shaved her entire head with her dad's electric razor when she was seven years old. Ooh, uh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> C, <laughs> Maddie once pulled her own toenail off when she was 13 years old. Oh, my God, Maddie. Oh, oh. Great, great stuff there. They're very good ones. Join us in part two, <gasps> where we'll find out the answer. And for your mum, can we talk correspondence? Oh. Plus, Maddie will have a confession for my mum that she has never, ever told her parents before. Ooh. See you in part two. Yes, indeedy. It's mommy's boy. <laughs> what a great break we just had. Oh, what a lot. was flirting so much. Oh, you are, I don't know what to do with you two. I know. Honestly. You know, there's no space God, for so me. Flustered. 
Very shortly, we'll be getting to your mum can we talk correspondence. But yes. first, before the break, I asked you, mother. Yes. Which of the following statements about Maddie is true? A, Maddie once stabbed herself in the cheek when she was five years old. B, Maddie once shaved her entire head with her dad's electric razor when she was seven years old. C, Maddie once pulled her own toenail off when she was 13. Oh, this is really hard because I can imagine you doing all of those things, <laughs> sadly. At once. Um, at once, <laughs> indeed. Um, so it's a bit of a tricky one. Or oh, maybe that was a hint. Well, oh, you see, was that a hint? That is the one I was going to go for, but now you've fiddled with your hair. I'm thinking, no, she always had lovely, long, luscious locks and she wouldn't have wanted to get rid of them. But was she a little tomboy? And did she think, oh, to hell with it? Maybe I'll... she saw Britney Spears. Maybe she did. Yeah. Trust your gut, I think. I'm going to go for bees. She shaved all her hair off when she was seven. Maddie, please Maddie. reveal the answer. I can reveal that the true answer was A. Oh, bugger. Um, yeah, what did you stab yourself stinker. with, you silly girl? Scissors. Scissors. Oh God. What Look. sort of scissors? Can you see it? Oh gosh, I can inside. see it. Yeah, my little scar. Oh, wow. Yeah. I know. Like fully just. But not yeah. on purpose. I didn't just kind of stand yeah. there, grab some scissors uh, and go like, yeah. <laughs> I, I, it was quite, it's actually quite traumatic. I bet it was. Well, see, as you can imagine, as a kid, I've realized in most recent years that I've, I've got ADHD. So as a kid, everything makes sense. Okay. But I was always just a kid that was, oh, she's so lively. <laughs> she's so, she's, such, she's got a good she's spirit. She's so irritating. She, yeah. I believe. She's so annoying. Um, but I used to climb on everything. Right. So, and I was like cutting and sticking one day. And I'd managed to get my scissors down from my shelf in my room. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to be so good. I'm going to clear up after myself. So I climbed back up my shelves, put the scissors where I found them. Because yes. they were probably up there. So I so that couldn't, you couldn't get, get them. them. Put them back up. As I was climbing up my shelves, I slipped and fell onto my hand and oh. stabbed myself oh. in the cheek. Oh. I know. Oh. 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 Yeah. God, your poor mother. Was I she know. in? Oh yeah. yeah, and and it was on a weekend, I assume. And I, I, but she came running up, and I was like this, and all the blood had gone into my eyes. So she thought I'd stab myself oh, in the Christ. eye. Oh my god! You, you can't, I can't even imagine. <laughs> oh my god! I know. Oh Lord, bless Awful. you. How horrible! I know. But it actually didn't end up being as like serious as we thought, which is good because it didn't kind of go. All it the way didn't go through, all the way no. through. And I didn't need. Well, I didn't end up going to hospital because I was so scared. Really? Yeah, because it just healed on its own. Yeah, wow. I know, but really, in hindsight, we probably should have gone and got some. There is like, still a blade stitches. in there. Oh, don't be so silly, off. You're really looking at me quite intently to to see that. Well, there's a big metal thing sticking out your oh, cheek. Do you want to get it? <laughs> no. Oh, he's very squeamish. He's nervous. He is very Not nervous. Not at all. <clears throat> well, yeah, bless my soul. I know. <sighs> okay, got it wrong again. Have I ever stabbed myself with anything? No, I don't think you did, actually. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, that was mean. That was mean. Sorry. I'm very childish, Arthur. Mm. I remember sure? stabbing a... <laughs> oh, dear. A, a painting of myself. <laughs> remember that? <laughs> no. A painting God. of yourself. So we had to, like, in... Um, when was it? Like, year six or something. Yeah. Had to, like, paint a self-portrait. Yeah. And I remember, like, a year later getting really annoyed at myself <laughs> or something, as I did. And I just remember, like, Fucking stabbing the, the shit out of the paint. Like, God, you're so, you're awful. Oh, awesome. Oh, no. Yeah. Yes. Like, you, just like you straight, straight a lot through of the anger head. issues. <laughs> just with a pencil or something. No, it was probably a guy. I, I no, it might it have been a, a compass. <laughs> a no, I think it was a compass. It wasn't a gun, you idiot. It was a compass. You're right. It was mm. a compass. It was a butcher knife. So I was just looking for guidance. <laughs> oh, God. I wasn't there, obviously. Right there. Well, at least it wasn't yourself. No. No. It was my metaphorical oh, self. God. Oh. oh. Dear. Never do that again. No. No. I haven't got a painting of myself to do it. Or oh. a compass. I've, I've, I really do. I, I don't know if it's like, it would be too much of a, like a ego thing. If I really want to get like a Renaissance painting of myself. Oh, for oh. sake. But with my flatmates though. 
Oh, I see. And it, but like what, someone sort walks of like, into the flat and it's just like... <laughs> sort of dressed like in... Like huge canvas of just us in like actually, robes. Yes, in robes. And Big like, fur. Yes. Like, yeah, like, oh, actually, that would be quite cool. Okay. It would be quite amusing. Oh, just but, like that. Yeah. <laughs> Talking of... Oh, have we got time? No, probably not. I'll shut up for another day. Remind me. Of what? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Renaissance paintings. Okay. Well, I oh. can't wait for that. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I might surprise you. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Are you, you were in one. Oh, you both. In 1503. No. Two years after you were born. <laughs> oh, aren't you amusing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh mum. Yeah. Can we talk? No. Okay. Don't want to. Are we ready? Yes. For some mum, can we talk correspondence? Yeah, let's dive in. This is in. the part of the podcast, the part of the podcast That's where funny. listeners and viewers send in their stories, questions and dilemmas to mm. get some much needed motherly advice. Oh. And I sometimes help. Okay. Shall Better we dive than in? Me. Yeah, come on. Question one from Zainab. 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 Okay. Hi, Arthur, Lisa and Maddie. Hope you're well. I'm a big fan of the pod. Especially you, Lisa. <laughs> Say no. I've got a dilemma. Well, it's about my friend, but since I'm sick of hearing about it, so I suppose it's mine too. Oh. She's seeing this guy who's an absolute jerk. Oh, she shock. calls her the most awful names. Says I'm only with you because you love me, but I think you're a slut. Oh ah! my god! Jesus. Oh dear God. So Say no. <laughs> <laughs> And it all sends us back to him not being able to wrap his head around the fact that she slept with someone before him. Oh, my God. oh for heaven's oh. sake. Freak. Like, leaving aside the craziness of that, every fight comes back to it. I don't oh. personally understand what she sees in him anyway. Dude dropped out of uni saying he didn't like it, which is okay, but he's been living at his parents for a year, not doing anything at all. He's got a shit personality and he's not even great looking. No offence. <laughs> Say what you mean, Zainab. She won't break up with him. I'm sick of hearing about it. It's to the point where she'll call every day and I'm trying to be there for her. But yeah, it's been months now. Oh, God. That's really sad. Please help. Isn't it? Mm. Oh, Zainab. Oh, well, the thing is, she's trying to help, isn't she? But so far, this friend hasn't listened. Send well, in that's... her number and we'll call we'll her. We'll call and... <gasps> Or call him. Oh, oh, prank wouldn't call that him. Be, mm. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, prank call him that he won the ITV competition that's like in the breaks, you know, <laughs> that no one has ever won. <laughs> I'm certain of it. What ITV I'm certain it's a scam. <laughs> you know, in like the in the break of I'm a celebrity or like something like that, would be like, win a fifty grand, win fifty grand on a holiday to Australia, in a five star hotel. And, oh, one of those. Yeah, and then I, when have you ever heard of someone winning it? It's you think I met someone? Yes. Like the the gadget show. Do you remember that <laughs> when they gave away every gadget ever, <laughs> and I never heard a fucking thing. Oh. I think there's a, there's a document. Louis Theroux should look into that. Yes, he should. I don't think it's. A real thing. Was that, that Louis Theroux? Wow. That wasn't, that wasn't the best. Was I wouldn't it? know. Anyway, we've distracted. Anyway, so Zainab, yeah, she's This doing, guy mm. is a twat. He absolutely Straight is. That's shocking, isn't twat. it? That's horrible. Mm. But I don't understand why any girl would just would think that that was okay. You get <laughs> wrapped up in it once you're in it, you know? Bless her. Well, um, yeah, I don't know what to say, Zainab. You've got to yeah, keep doing what you're doing. And maybe actually just say to her, actually, I'm fed up now. Mm. And I've, I've tried to be here for you, but you're not listening. And, and even the, Arthur and Lisa and Maddie think he's a twat. Yeah. So anyone on this earth well, would yes, think exactly. that he was... this bit and send it to her. Get rid yes, of him. get rid of him. Yeah. Remember who you are has, and yeah. what you're worth. Yes. Which is oh, a lot. Which yeah. Is so like much. at least 50 quid. Oh, I'd say more than that. I'd say hundred then. Yeah, hundred pounds. Priceless. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, absolutely. No, we're sorry you're going through that. Yeah, ridiculous. God, some people are horrible, aren't they? I know. They are. Don't like it. God. Next. Next. Okay. Question two from Anon. Oh, pfft. Are you kidding Bloody me? Bloody hell! <sighs> Hi, Arthur, Mama Hill, and Maddie. Please keep me anonymous if you read this on the podcast. Oh. My name is George. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, my situation is a bit unique and I really need your advice. Oh, yeah. Come on then. I grew up in a conservative household where my parents are ministers in the church. Oh. I was often told that real men... 
do deal with their issues privately. Oh. And that therapy is for the weak of mind. Oh, oh no. Oh, dear. <laughs> Here anyway. we go. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, a few years ago, I found out that I was adopted. Oh. My parents had kept this a secret and instructed me not to be angry with anyone for not telling me, emphasizing that I should simply for, be grateful for being adopted. This made it difficult for me to process my feelings as I was discouraged, discouraged from expressing any negative emotions. Oh. Since then, I've noticed increased toxicity and disrespect from friends, people who knew and family members. They often imply that processing feelings is useless and that one should just move forward and forget. Oh, dear Lord. I'm struggling with how to handle this. How much disrespect and toxicity should someone endure before deciding to cut ties with a friend or family member? I think Your guidance already... would mean a lot to me. Well, you've already put up with enough of it, I'd say, and mm. cut cut the ties. Find, but it's oh, quite a big deal. That, yeah, that's major. Mm. He needs to go on long lost family. Yeah. And find What's, his, oh. with Davina McCall. I've only seen it once, but it was ever so good. <laughs> it's a lovely show. Is it? Cry, cry, go. cry. Yeah, lots of crying. Mm. Mm. But But you hear lots of that sort of stuff. I mean, that's awful. No, but seriously, this is his journey now. Yes. I think therapy's amazing. Therapy's great. And even if you just had like one session, see how it goes. Absolutely. Give but it, I wonder give like, it how old he is or if he can you know, do it himself. But No, no I would can, say you definitely do, need um, to talk to somebody yeah. who you can talk to without mm -hmm. um, any fear of judgment or reprisal. Mm. And that will set you on the path yeah, to and knowing what you want to do before next. Before therapy, yeah. there's someone else like a friend or something you can talk to. Yes. Just like not I'm hoping in the he's church. got a friend. Million percent. But yeah, definitely. <sighs> That's rubbish. That is complete. Bollocks, but this does not define saying. you. No. no. And you're, this is, you know, a new chapter, I suppose, exactly. on, on self discovery. Exactly. And exactly. Look at it as an exciting yeah. thing. Yeah. I suppose. I know no. it's relative to everyone, but mm -hmm. yeah. Well, oh, good dear. luck, Anonymous. You've got this. Right. Okay. Question three. Yes. From Arthur to Maddie. Whoa. Will hey. you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question three. Oh, you, don't have to answer. Like? you don't have to answer right now. Um, <laughs> from Lizzie. Think about it, but let us know at the end. Dear right. Lisa, Arthur and Maddie. I recently met a guy in my local gym in a rather small village in Germany. Oh, okay. hang on. Sorry. I wasn't more. listening to the, who, who's it from? Lizzie. 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 Lizzie, yeah. Okay. I recently met a guy in my local oh. gym in a rather small village in Germany. Mm -hmm. It was the first time I've ever seen him there and we started talking for a few minutes before he asked me for my number. <laughs> <laughs> Love this accent. Me panicking and being my awkward self gave him my number and we started chatting on WhatsApp for a bit. <laughs> Pretty soon after he asked me to go on a date with him but also told me that in fact he was 42 years old. Oh! oh. I'm 22. Oh. And the age gap of 20 years is a bit too much for my liking. You've gone a bit South African. There are few relationships in my family with age gaps between 10 and 20 years. But for me, currently, 10 years would be the limit. <laughs> Anyways, I told him rather clearly that I was not interested. And from his response, it seemed as if he accepted that. Oh. Shortly after that, however, he started messaging me again nonstop, asking oh. me on dates. But I've been ignoring him ever since. Now I'm kind of scared to run into him in the gym. Oh. For the last few weeks, I've always asked my sister or one of my friends to go there with me so I didn't have to be alone. Alone? In, in case he was there. But I can't ask them to come to the gym with me forever and I would very much like to have the courage to go by myself again. Oh. Unfortunately, I can't simply change gyms as the next one will be a 30-minute drive away. Do you have any advice for me? What do I do if I run into him? Have you ever been in a similar situation? Oh, Thanks, Lissy. Lucy, she did sound a bit like Nelson Mandela at times, though, mm. to me. I thought that was pretty consistently uh, fantastic. Did you? Yeah, it was great. You really committed to it. Thank you. He I does commit it. when he, yeah, he does. Yeah, I'm a committed man. <laughs> yeah, bear that in mind when you're considering his question. Yeah. Um, of oh course, that's quite awkward, isn't it? That is awkward. That but is. he has like let it go. Some, yeah. He hasn't. He hasn't taken the hint, has he? No. As a forty-year-old as well. Yeah. Just like, come on. Yeah, pal. he should know better, shouldn't he? Yeah. Embarrassing. Yeah. God. Well, she's There's just a gonna... theme of just awful men here. I know, week. isn't it awful? Oh God. <laughs> Which is rare. They're normally great. Yeah, they would. Mm. Yes. Um, I think 
if she was she saying that she normally she now goes with her sisters or whatever yes. yeah so but maybe that's next time a bit of a pain for them well isn't of course it? it is so next time maybe when she's got the moral support of a sister or a friend with her and he is there she should actually beat go him, to him up and no. beat him up no should just go and say to him look can you please stop messaging me it's making me uncomfortable i want to be able to come here on my own but you know just put it to him straight it's very easy for me mm. to say, mm. not so easy to do, but I think that's probably what is needed. Mm. Is it not? Did she say she blocked him or anything? I was going to say. She doesn't say that, <coughs> so that should, but I would imagine that. that she has. If she hasn't, you must do that. But, you know, it's tough because you don't know how he'll react if you see him. Well, he's just got to pull himself together. I think, here's my opinion, because mm. it's quite, that's quite hard to build up the courage to go and do. Mm. Yes, Because I think I'd be nervous as well. But... You got to think you're probably going at a time where there, well, there like, are other people. Other there are other people. He's probably not going to ever do anything in so no. public. Yeah. So like I think you can be feel safe in the environment you're in, that yes. like nothing will ever happen in that environment. If yes. he ever came over to you to like talk to you, then I think you immediately if you feel so uncomfortable, like walk and go find staff mm. and yes. be like, I feel uncomfortable, this guy explain the yes. situation because they're there to help you that's their job yeah but if you felt confident enough just be like please don't talk to me yeah that if he came over to approach yeah. you i don't think she needs to go and approach him just i think just ignore it and then like, yeah like just mm. act like he doesn't talk yeah. exist hand. and like walk in like confident like yeah. boom, exactly. boom 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 and then like lift some weights like boom boom but just always be safe i think that's the main thing <laughs> be safe don't do any do, yeah. don't do anything confrontational in no. private always like no absolutely but that's public. why it's a good idea that to do it there yeah. you know if he does come over to you just you block his just, number as well yeah, just block definitely. his number if block you haven't him. already block, block him block, block number him. him serious block block his number yes. <laughs> nice <laughs> just she's getting it do you're it. getting it block him <laughs> it's just adorable it's the tone that you have look <laughs> Yeah. There's a lot there's a lot that goes into it. I really respect yeah. you. Thank you. Right. That was all our questions. Oh, was of it? Mum, can we talk? Marvellous. <clears throat> but now we move oh, on to yes. Mum, I've got something to tell you. <gasps> which I mean, God knows where this is oh, going. Oh God knows. Oh crikey. This is where we give our guests the opportunity to have that difficult conversation that they've always put off having with their own parents. Indeed. And have it with my mum instead. Okay. Maybe you broke the T V years ago. Mm. Maybe you killed the the Next door's cat. Next door's Ooh. cat. Or she something. would never have killed next no. door's cat. No. no. Don't say that to me. No, sorry. No. Arthur. Rat. You killed next door's rat, is okay. what I meant to say. Mm. No. Which That's apparently can be lovely pets. Just yeah, put that yeah. out there. Mm. Um, so, Maddie. Yeah. Please treat my mum exactly how you would your own. Okay. Oh, Maddie, what have you done now? So, you know, growing up, mm. I was always. I was the angel child. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, out of out of. I suppose out of the three of you, you were. Yeah, I was. Yes. I was the angel child. You know how, you know, my older sister she did get into quite a lot of trouble with maybe underage drinking, and <sighs> I just didn't know what to do. With you that. know, you just she was nonstop grounded, being told off, phone taken off, for all that. You know, I saw that. Yes. I, I saw it, and you and I you and took I said that on board. I don't want to go through that. Good girl. I'm going to be the good child. Yes, dear. And I and I always was, mm. I was, but there mm. was mm. one certain time. Oh dear! That I should probably talk to you about just to get it out in the air. Yes, if it'll make you feel better. Yeah. Um. So do you remember that time when I came home after a sleepover with my fingernail? had fallen off oh, yes. my hand yeah blood all wrapped up oh, horrid mm. yicky i don't like nails Awful. yeah and i was crying saying how it was horrible because it happened but i felt too embarrassed to leave the house to come home because i thought my friends were gonna like take the mick out of me and yes so i just stayed the night anyway um <clears throat> i'd maybe like to admit to you now that i'd um secretly gone to a house party <gasps> And got quite paralytic drunk <gasps> to the point where I trapped my finger in the door. Didn't feel that someone was slamming the door on my <gasps> finger. And quietly took myself off to a bedroom and fell asleep. <gasps> and then woke up the next day with 
that situation, <gasps> horribly hungover. <gasps> and um, I think you just felt so sorry for me because I was the angel child that you never questioned it. And I got away with it. I know. I'm I never, sorry! I, I never would have thought it was possible for you to tell me a lie of such magnitude. I know, and I, I, that's the only lie I've ever told you. Wow, I but don't believe that. Is it, Maddie? Yeah. Is it? I can never trust you again. That's it. Are you serious? I am. <laughs> yeah. Don't put on any of your funny faces with me, Maddie. Don't love you, Mum. Don't you <laughs> stick your tongue out at me. <laughs> don't love it's you. not going to work. <laughs> Do it once more. I love you. Oh, okay. I forgive you. Yes. Oh. Uh, wow. Yeah. Because there we go. that's my. You have passion. been. You have been the angel child. Yes. I and have. I am very proud of you. It was the you. one time I slipped up and I didn't know my limits. I had two ciders and I was gone. Two <laughs> ciders. I always ciders. told you not to go on the cider. I know. Stick with the vodka. You're silly, silly girl. I know. And I hadn't eaten a thing because someone told me that's how I get drunk quicker. Oh, and it classic. Really oh, works. classic. Classic. We've all been there. You have to go oh, through it. Dear. You have to go through it. I have it. to go through it. Well, I'm it... glad you've done it just the once, and obviously you've never done it again. No. No. So no. I, no! Had that, I had that reading. I don't know if I've told this one. Yes. We... Yeah, oh. Probably. Oh. We've talked about it somewhere. Oh, no, we're, we're, I don't want to hear about any more tent vomiting. Yeah, the medical tent. Yeah, we have talked oh, about no. that. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm not surprised. I also remember having to come and see you in an ambulance outside Harvey's house once. Do you remember that? That what? wasn't for drinking, though. That was because I had. You I had some breathe. sort of heart palpitations. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't breathe. It was awful. But I think Maddie you had past. been drinking. <laughs> uh, that's what it was, yeah. He was only 16. <laughs> 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 well, um, you too. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> I can't remember what that was. I don't know what brought that no, on. No, I really don't know. Scary. It was horrible. Oh, no. um, yeah. I didn't know whether to be cross or. Well, I, hadn't done it. I hadn't drunk it. It was, I, it was like well, midday. It wasn't a drinking no, thing. No, it wasn't. No. It was at night. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Anyway. No. Oh. 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 You see, the things us parents go through. <laughs> and on that bombshell. Bombshell. <laughs> the, the, the best hour of my life is over. Oh. I think. Oh, Arthur. Um, you are a soppy old thing. Would Maddie be allowed to come round for dinner? Oh, yes, definitely. Yes. Yes, Great. definitely. Yay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And Charlotte could be there too. Yes, no, I nice was say get Charlotte yeah. GSA reunion. I didn't get in there. I auditioned. No. Yes. Oh, you did, she she didn't got you? I didn't she in. got in. <laughs> How bizarre is that? You could have been there together. You, How freaky you, would that have been? Did you get in? that? Would have been, did you get in? No, because did you do oh, no, you musical theatre Yeah, I acting? did do the acting Yeah. Course. No, no you went for the acting, didn't you? I remember you had to be fire, didn't you, in oh, your that audition? Was, yeah. Oh my god, we did that. It was fucking <laughs> a bull. Like, what? Just a that maybe not want to do it. Like, he no, it come, is he so came home stupid. and said, "What a load of like, crap there was that water was. had to be around the room. Water. Oh, it was water. You have to close your eyes, and like the the ball of water is coming towards you. Oh my god! And then oh. it's slowly at your feet, and then it's coming up your body. And I'm like closing my eyes. I'm like, surely no one's doing this. <laughs> and, I, and I'm sort of there, like <laughs> I look around, and everyone's like, <laughs> "Oh I'm like, my fuck, god, these are not my these are not my people." Um, no, yeah. no, 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 hideous. Oh, oh, God. But hey, look where we are now. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> On the podcast. Sitting here chatting to me. With Lisa Hill. Yeah. Star of West End. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Star of life. Star of life. Oh, that too, yeah. Star of something. Star of life. Star, oh, star of Star of wonder, star of night, star of royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guides us to our lovely house. <laughs> <laughs> wow, beautiful. Thanks for coming, really Maddie. Done. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you. I've loved it. <laughs> Always remember. New episodes drop every Wednesday and Sunday. And if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you're desperate for mum to read, slide into the DMs on <laughs> socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or give me a message on WhatsApp on 07822 837. No. No, fuck. 07822-013-837. And no matter what the issue, I will ask her. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> 
bye 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 oh bye. mad 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 it's mommy's boy